Hi, this is Stephanie Kwame from the CAD Academy, and today the subject is the view map. What is it and why would we want to use it? We have a very simple little project we had started on here, and we want to do some uh, prints of it now. And if we do want to do a print of a floor plan, we definitely don't want the roof in it, and we don't want to have the trees and the plants in it. And so we did this all using what we call the model. And now I'm going to go over to what we're going to learn about today, the view map. If I look at the view map and I look at the first floor, they look the same in the model and in the view map. And the reason they do is they have the same layer combinations. So if I want it to look different, then I have to create different layer combinations. I'm going to do a control L to bring up my layers. And you can see that they are on, it's on the uh, drafting uh, layer combination now. I'm going to say I want to do a new one and I'm going to call it A-1 floor and say OK. And now I've highlighted that and on that layer we do not, I mean on that layer combination, we don't want to be able to see the A equipped where the trees are. So I'm going to click on that and turn that eyeball off or turn that layer off and the A roof is definitely not supposed to be there and <clears throat> we don't want to see the L site so we're going to click that and turn that off as well and now I forget this and I almost did again so you want to now that you've highlighted this you've changed uh, the layer combination to be what you want it to be you need to update so I'm going to update it and I say OK and now that reflects the layers <clears throat> that I want to see on a floor plan. Now I have one other thing to do. I am in the view map. I am on the first floor. I want to make sure it stays the way it looks right now so I'm going to go to settings and on the layer combination it says drafting we want a one floor so we're going to say OK. And so now we've successfully changed that so that that would uh, relate and go over to uh, the uh, layout book, etc. Let's go back to this first floor. We must have, there we go. And so now <clears throat> let's say that I wanted to have um, a presentation floor plan that I was doing. And this is where this would come in the project chooser. So if I show the organizer, I can do all kinds of things here and one thing I can do is I can drag and drop something that I've had so I put another first floor in there and now I could rename it to be presentation or whatever but I've got two first floors now in my view map and on this first floor we have those layers that are turned off with that layer combination and on this one we are going to do a model view of presentation solid so that pochets or hatches or whatever you want to do with those walls. Now I want to make sure I go down to settings here and under settings make sure that I also say presentation solid there as well. So you have to change it, make sure you change it in the settings as well. So now if I go to the first floor here under the um, view map, I have my floor plan and I've also added another presentation first floor in case I want to use that or print that out sometimes with uh, the uh, hatching on it. So hopefully that helped to simplify the situation and it gives you such a wonderful powerful tool to customize uh, each and every uh, drawing and I hope that um, it helped. Thanks for listening.